The president has instructed the State Department to begin the process of moving the American embassy from Tel Aviv to the Holy City. Good evening, I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Nicole Brewer, in for Yuki Washington. Washington, excuse me. In the White House diplomatic reception room today, President Trump reversed nearly 70 years of U.S. policy. Now it's a move earning praise from Israel and condemnation from Palestinians. We cannot solve our problems by making the same failed assumptions and repeating the same failed strategies of the past. This is a long overdue step to advance the peace process and to work towards a lasting agreement. Israel is a sovereign nation with the right, like every other sovereign nation, to determine its own capital. Acknowledging this is a fact is a necessary condition for achieving peace. The president went on to say he supports a two-state solution to conflict between Israelis and Palestinians. Israel claims all of Jerusalem as its capital, while the Palestinians claim the city's eastern sector as the capital of a future independent state. The rival claims lie at the heart of the decades-long Israeli-Palestinian conflict. There are also deep religious implications here. For Christians, they believe Jesus spent much of his life in Jerusalem, and it's where he was crucified and believed to be resurrected. Jerusalem is also the site of the Western Wall, one of the holiest sites for Jews. It's also home to the Al-Aqsa Mosque, one of the most sacred sites for Muslims. Now, reaction to the president's decision has been swift in Turkey. Protests hit the streets at the American consulate in Istanbul and our Natasha Brown spoke with some locally to get their insights on that. Natasha? Well, we can tell you the president's announcement is certainly causing mixed reaction here locally as well with some fearing violence while others hope it opens up much needed dialogue about Israel and the Middle East. Jacob Binder is a Jewish American who lived in Jerusalem for more than seven years. He now holds a unique position as executive director of the Council on American Islamic Relations, fighting for Muslim civil rights. He believes the president's formal acknowledgement of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel may stall the ongoing peace process and bring more volatility to the region. The final status of Jerusalem should be negotiated. You don't make unilateral moves uh, on such a important, crucial issue. Critics of the announcement, like Bender, whose office adjoins this historic church in Center City, Philadelphia, believe the president's recognition of Jerusalem isolates the United States on one of the world's most sensitive diplomatic issues. Arab and European leaders are also among the biggest critics. When asked why non-Jewish and non-Muslim Americans should have an interest in this decision, some believe it could unleash a wave of violence, not just in the Middle East, but around the world. Stability based on peace and justice is necessary to protect the world from terrorism. What we want is a peaceful state, some place where people can interact with their faith and their history and acknowledge that it's part of our lives. Naomi Adler with the Jewish Federation of Greater Philadelphia is striking a different tone on the heels of President Trump's announcement, hoping it opens up much needed dialogue about Israel and the Middle East here in the U.S. I don't also believe that it's our right to tell people how to feel about the state of Israel. It's complicated. Instead, what I'd like us to be able to do is engage in dialogue, use today's announcement to learn more, learn more about what's already law, and learn more about why people would be concerned or happy either way. Well, President Trump signed a national security waiver allowing the administration to keep the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv for an additional six months. The process of moving the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem could ultimately take several years. So lots of reaction still coming in about this. No question. And, and it's a great point. This is a dialogue and maybe this is a great mm -hmm. point if you don't know more to yeah, ask more. Absolutely. All right, Natasha, thanks. Thank you. Well,